Okay, we are back to check out the ship again and see if I can buy any books. Um, you can see the same old building here. Um, as you can tell, it's been clad in more windows, so they've made some progress. Same river view again. Same buildings with no progress. Um, so these are just stalled developments. It's um, not a holiday today. It's the middle of the working day and no construction. So you get a lot of these things in Phnom Penh. Um, so from the sky, it might look like it's a developed city, but when you get to the ground, it for sure is not. So let's go over to the ferry and see if we can buy any books. So these are some boards about the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port. We'll see if it gets any traffic, any business. Cambodia is not really on the tourist map, even though it is right between Thailand and Vietnam. So they're trying to get um, more tourists here, but there's really no coordinated national tourism strategy. And as I mentioned, it might look developed when you fly into this place with all the buildings amassed, but when you get onto the ground, it's just empty and bare bones inside. So hopefully people will come. This video is probably not going to entice people to come, but I just like doing real videos at real time without all the flash. So you can make the decision yourself. All right, so we got a busload of students coming to check out the floating library, which is good. And now we'll go inside to the boat. So with the dock being so low, this means the water level in the river is also very low. So as I mentioned in my last video, when you're on the ferry boat, there's not much to see that is any different than being on the riverside. And part of the reason why the river is so low is because of the dams. There's a lot of dams upstream on the Mekong. Um, and a lot of these dams are actually on the um, China side, uh, where the river is called by a different name. But China has really spent the last 20 plus years doing a lot of hydroelectric projects. And so by damming the river upstream, there's less flow of water downstream, which is why the river is quite low. Um, and so in other parts actually of the country, the, the the river is even much lower than what you see here. Just a random tidbit, a lot of the infrastructure projects in this country um, have been funded by Japan historically. So by infrastructure, I mean road building, uh, water and sewage projects. Uh, and then France historically had some more 
um, I guess, involvement on the power sector. So it's really just been in the last 15 years or so that the country has been electrified. Um, in the mid-2000s, the country still was not electrified. So yep, low water levels means we've got to walk downhill a bit. Looks like maybe they're still closed for the moment, so looks like some more waiting. Hello. Okay, upstairs. Okay, so you gotta be well able and able to go up steep stairs. So if you have walking disability, then you won't be able to come on the ship. Hi. Hi. Let me go through you with okay. our units. Okay. So if you're gonna see, if you're gonna see a number, always remember to add two zero. Okay. 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 So if this is a hundred unit, then it will be ten thousand real. Okay. And at first, it, we do not accept ABA QR okay. code. Okay. It's only for cash. Okay. Visa and Mastercard will okay. be fine. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I feel like I could use these books on food and digestion and bones and muscles as I need to get some probiotics and I've just signed up for a gym membership. So my gym membership is $40 per month um, which is expensive if you compare it to prices in America. Uh, but my gym has aircon and the one right around the corner from me that gym is only $30 but it doesn't have aircon.
these ones free? Yeah, that's all. Oh, okay. Cool. So that's the end of the tour on the Duelas Hope. It's a floating mobile library.